we've got a group table and we've got a histogram. The group table and histogram show information about the heights of year 8 pupils. So we've got to use the histogram to complete the table and then use the completed table to complete the histogram. Now to use the worksheet, I could, all I could get on the worksheet as far as the question was concerned was just these two parts. Use the histogram to complete the table and then use the, the, then use the um, completed table to complete the histogram. So how do we go about that? Well, we need to know the connection between frequency, frequency density, and class size. So let's just have a little talk about that on this piece of paper first. When you draw an ordinary bar chart, or fre frequency graph, it is the height of each of the bars that give you the information. In other words, if this bar went up to 5, then there would be 5 people that did whatever. It is the height of the bar that gives you the piece of information. But in a histogram, it is the area of the bar that gives you the information. And that's the dif difference between an ordinary bar chart, or frequency chart, and a histogram. In a histogram also, this is called the frequency density. The frequency density. So we do have that frequency density equals frequency divided by class size. rewrite this another way I say that frequency equals frequency density multiplied by class size so looking at the area of this bar the area of this bar is that distance multiplied by that distance it's just a rectangle and this distance is frequency density and this represents the size of the class. So the area of this rectangle is frequency density multiplied by class size. So frequency equals frequency density multiplied by class size. That's the information we need to manipulate for this question. Okay, let's see how we get on with that. Now, part of this is missing and part of the diagram is missing. However, looking at the first part, the first part of the bar is completely there, and the first part of the table is completely there. So we work with those two pieces of information. Now I would always recommend adding another column, the frequency density column. The frequency density equals frequency divided by class size. Frequency density equals frequency divided by class size. Now let's see what I mean by class size. This class or group, we can call it class or group, goes from 100 to 110. That's got a class size of 10. This goes from 110 to 125, a class size of 15. 125 to 135, class size of 10, 135 to 155, class size of 20, 155 to 175, class size of 20. So a column, which is class sizes, frequency column and frequency density to column. So if the frequency is 40, and the class size is 10, then the frequency is 4, the frequency density is 4. Now that enables me to go from here, the table, 
to the graph and decide what this scale is. The frequency density of the first class is 4, so I can suss out that that must be a 4. Therefore that's a 1, that's a 2, that's a 3. And we've worked out the scale on the frequency, frequency density axes. Now we've done that, we can use that piece of information to this, this, this piece of information here. So the second bar goes up to 3. The second bar goes up to 3. So the frequency density is 3. And the class size is 15. Therefore, frequency is frequency density multiplied by class size. So 45 goes in there. Moving on, this third column is only 10 wide, there's the class size, it's only 10 wide, and it goes up to 6. So its frequency density is 6. Its frequency is, well we don't know that because that's the missing number, but its class size is 10. Therefore, the frequency is 60. So we can use this column to work out this column, and this column to work out this column, backwards and forwards. Frequency density equals frequency divided by class size, whereas frequency equals frequency density multiplied by class size. So the table is now completed. So we've used the histogram to complete the table. We can now use the table and go back and complete the histogram. So our third column, our frequency density, is 50 divided by 20. Our frequency density is frequency divided by class size. That's 2.5. So therefore our next column goes up to 2.5. There's 2.5 there. That's from 135 to 155. There's 155 there. Now the last piece of information Frequency density equals frequency divided by class size. 40 divided by 20 is 2. Therefore this last bar goes up to 2. Between 155 and 175 goes up to 2. Histogram. There's quite a lot to, to understand and get your head round, but once you do, I hope they're not that bad a question. Well the mark is quite simple really when you finished you end up with one mark for the two missing numbers there one mark each and one mark for each of the missing columns there. But the key is appreciating the connection between frequency and frequency density and class size. That's the one I learn and then I think about that one. It's up to you. Frequency equals frequency density multiplied by class size. In other words, the area of the bar equals frequency. Right, well that was number 19.